Good afternoon and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. It's so weird guys, honestly. I feel like tomorrow should really be Friday. Um, because I finished everything like so early in the week. I posted all of the matchups for today. The only one I didn't do was Jules, but that's because I just finished it right now while I was watching the Hawks game. So that's um, done and it will be published first thing in the morning. And um, I also finished my countdown to savings that's uploaded. I finished that way early in the week, like on Monday or something like that, or maybe even Sunday. Um, but I just didn't upload it, the video, until today. And then I finished editing the picture and the thumbnail and then have that scheduled also for tomorrow morning. I also finished my freezer dinners, guys, which was probably the biggest thing that I was, like, not dreading having to do. It's just... When I record, especially like those videos, I've noticed because the first one that I did, um, like the recent first one that I did, um, I had to edit so much out of it because I was just like, n because it's not that I'm talking too much, it's that I keep stumbling over my words and normally when I record, I don't hugely have this problem. Um, sometimes I do. It depends on what kind of mindset I'm in, but like... I don't know, it's really weird because I used to like never have that problem. Like when I first started on YouTube, like I used to just talk way too much and I do too still sometimes, but like I would never like, I just figure out a way to like keep talking if I was like screwing something up. Now I stop talking and then like try and start over again. And so it winds up making me have to edit so much out. Cause like I'll say something instead of in, in and instead of like right now, I probably would have stopped and then cut this part out. So let me try this one more time. Instead of like just adding on to what I was saying and trying to fix myself in the same like sentence, I'll just stop completely talking then have to edit that part out and then I'll start talking again about something and then like I'll screw something else up that I'm talking about over here. So then I have to like cut this part out and then add this on and so sometimes it actually doesn't make sense the two things that I'm saying here because I like my um what are those connecting words or whatever <laughs> aren't making sense. So I've noticed that sometimes when I record and it really frustrates me because it does sometimes my videos are not very fluid because of that and so that's one thing that frustrates me a lot when I'm recording um but especially in a video like that where like it's supposed to be more of a, a faster video and like I'm not supposed to be talking so much I'm just supposed to kind of keep moving on with things um and not spend so much time like droning on about anything but then also to not like making it too short so I'm still giving enough information and like sometimes I don't know how much information to give but the first time I did this, and that's actually the video that's up on YouTube, um, my first like freezer dinner video that I did of recent, um, like I edited, I had to edit a ton of it. And then the other two, which I just decided yesterday, I deleted all the footage because I was like, I'm not going to. These were back from like, I think December, maybe January too. Um, I was like, I am not going to record or edit these videos. I'm just going to delete the footage because it wasn't, like I said, it was stuff that, I think I made two freezer dinners in one, like from January, and then I ended up doing a few, or a bunch, I think, actually, in like December, but that was like before I started doing my countdown to savings too, so it's not a huge big thing about that one, um, and so, yeah, guys, I, <laughs> it's just, the editing part is what's going to drive me bonkers because I have to try and cut stuff out and make it still make sense that I don't sound like I'm like super choppy with what I'm saying because I have to keep editing stuff um, or like cutting pieces out because I keep like I'll say something and then like I'll stop and then I'll like start over or I'll try and continue on from what I was saying but again because I don't know exactly how I ended that part then I'm like making something like not sound like it's not fluid um, and sometimes I'll like even cut like in sentences and so like I said it's just I need to try and get better with this but I don't know why especially recently which I think I need to get better with um and even to like the last I'd say probably the last like two or so years I've been doing it a lot more with when I'm recording I'll just stop talking and be like okay I'll edit like I'll just cut this part and then start over again or something like that and I need to try and keep it fluid and like keep moving on with my words and like if I stop stop at the end of a thought and then think of the next thing I'm going to say and then keep going instead of like I said, right now, I know that it's going to be a pain to try and edit because that's the one thing that even with my hauls too, 
I used to, especially too guys, when I was like first, first, first on YouTube, back when YouTube wasn't even in HD, <laughs> my camera did not record in HD, um, and I, I couldn't actually, I had no editing, well, I think I had editing software, but I don't really think I used it, and my camera too, I don't remember why, but for some reason I could only or only did record, maybe it was before I even had editing software or I knew how to use it. I didn't know I could put clips together. So I'd record my haul videos all in one like straight through and so if I screwed something up I'd just keep talking <laughs> and then just like add on to it or whatever I was saying. And so um, there was some reason like I said I don't know if it was maybe because the camera I was using or if it was because I didn't know how to use any type of editing software. I didn't know how to add clips together. I didn't know how to make cuts in it or anything like that which I think I had like um, not iMovie I was using like Windows Movie Maker or something like that. Um, and so, yeah, I didn't really, I wasn't really good at, like, when I was doing my haul videos, too. They wouldn't take me any time to, at all to edit because I'd normally just straight, upload them straight from my camera, pretty much. I don't even think I ever edited, like, almost any of those hauls. Um, and now I'm spending too much time editing them, which is not only taking too much time to do it, but I think that it takes, like, to, like, compress all the video together then too. I think it takes more time. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I feel like just me having to go over and constantly making like changes or cuts or whatever into the clip that I recorded, I think that it's like it takes me way longer. Whereas like I said, my videos used to go up. I used to record them and they used to go up within about 15 minutes. Um, and then that'd be it. It'd be done. But now it sometimes takes me like a few hours. I, granted, I do a lot more hauls than I used to back in those days. Um, cause I literally would just do Walgreens and CVS on a Sunday morning, but they'd be up at like nine, eight, 10 o'clock or something like that, depending on when I went to the store, um, on a Sunday morning. So they were like up like first thing in the morning. So my haul videos were almost always like one of the first ones up, um, <laughs> on YouTube, which was pretty crazy. But again, I never edited them or like anything like that. I might have edited them like a little bit, but again, it was probably very rare. I, I really don't, I don't remember ever really like sitting down and like having to go through and like really try and edit stuff out. I remember literally sitting on my, I'd sit right next to my camera too because it had a horrible, horrible mic guys. The mic like wouldn't pick anything up and people would always tell me like I can't hear your video I can't hear your video and so I'd have to literally sit and like talk right into the microphone which was like right on the top of my camera which I got for an eighth grade graduation present so you guys can figure how old of a dinosaur that was um again this was like my first YouTube videos probably ever um but I remember like I'd sit on I'd have a stool actually which is what I used as my desk chair at the time so I'd sit up on my stool and I talk right into the microphone and so I'd read my receipt like this and go over like whatever deals I'm reading and try and talk into the into the camera mic at the same time um but yeah it was it was back in those days I miss those simpler times guys I also miss the deals back then too because I don't know I feel like couponing was a lot simpler and it wasn't so like I feel like it's very like not popular like mainstream but like it's a lot more accessible like with Instagram and like social media and stuff like that like you can see stuff like literally as it's happening like how many of this item do I have in my store like I'd literally have to go to my store and be like okay I really hope today that they have what I need um whereas you can find out ahead of time if you even want to go to that store or go to the other one because you can check to see the inventory at the store like that's crazy to me like back in that day I couldn't figure that kind of stuff out or check or you know like somebody would post like a clearance deal and like you know by the time I got to the store it was gone already because it was like three days old because I didn't see it or you know like something but it was just like it wasn't as like we didn't I don't think we got information quite as quickly like back in and this was like 2011 or so um so like if it was like a clearance deal like it wasn't like 
posted right there at the store on Instagram you know it was like people had to come home then they'd upload the video or picture or they'll just post about it or something like that whatever they were doing and then you'd hear about it and then you'd go to the store and then by that time like you said sometimes you might not hear about it for a few days later and your store is already out so um yeah but a lot of this stuff I felt like it was a lot more popular to hear about things through YouTube than like through Facebook or like Instagram I don't even think it was a thing at that time um but now like on Instagram especially like you check like the clearance hashtags and like all the stuff will come up from all the stores and like I said it's just like the days of like I don't know it's just so weird how far like and how much things have changed since then um I like reminiscing though guys I started off this whole thing with with it takes too long for me to um edit my uh my videos so that's one thing I'm not necessarily looking forward to doing but I kind of wanted to have that video up by tomorrow's only Thursday I was like I want to have it up by Friday but that's tomorrow and I'm like wait no it's not it's Thursday I feel like today's Thursday and tomorrow should be Friday I told you guys that earlier too um it still feels like Thursday to me because normally I don't have like everything that I practically need done in the week by Wednesday night um the only thing I didn't I haven't made is my list and I still have half made it already I finished actually family dollar and I think that was it but um yeah normally I'm not this done like this early in the week so it's pretty awesome that I already have like I said all this stuff pretty much done except for I just like I said need to finish up with what jewel I have to do um stuff and then actually make my grocery list for tomorrow but uh I think if I can I get that um what you call it the um freezer dinner video if I can get it all edited tomorrow plus I have to make my list it might be up by Friday if not I might wait actually maybe I'll have it on up on Sunday or maybe Saturday too I don't know because my hauls I'm gonna actually do my dad's gonna be home from work on Friday so we're supposed to go to the grocery stores all on Friday because then on Saturday he's got a like football coaching clinic thing on Saturday morning then Sunday is Matthew's birthday and I think we're going out for breakfast on his birthday but that doesn't really have an effect as to the grocery store stuff it's just when I post it I'll probably wind up posting on Saturday um if I f or Friday if I finish everything I don't want to post my hauls and the um what's it called that uh the freezer dinner video both on the same day I'd like to switch it up a little bit I don't want it to get lost like on social media or YouTube because it's all going to be if I'm doing all my hauls in one day I want to do that separately and I keep seeing, thinking that I'm seeing something in here. But like right here it feels weird. And it looked funny a few times when I saw it in the camera screen. Um, sometimes I get it from like if I'm using my mouse too much. But I really wasn't using it. It was hurting though when I was using my Mac today. Which is weird because I normally have a little um, like lap desk that I use it on. And so it is kind of red compared to the other one <laughs> I was also rubbing it but um yeah that happens a lot of times like I said if I'm using my mouse at my desktop computer um but I haven't been using it in a while so I don't know why it's like feels like it's irritating anyways guys <laughs> that's stuff that doesn't need to be said that stuff is what I should edit out um but see this was a good vlog because I actually kept talking all the way through for most of it and didn't have to edit a whole ton um or hopefully I won't <laughs> anyways though guys I'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give the big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys